All right. The time has come. Christmas in July. The promo is over. And we have just sold out for now. We will be putting more up on the website, but never again at this price. And the products that are in here will not be available except through this kit. Again, it will be a higher price. It will be more true to value. Those of you that got the Christmas in July surprise package got a heck of a deal. I am going to open this surprise and I'm going to show you how to create the project or a project out of what's inside. There are many ways to use this, but I'm going to show you one of them. So here we go. Are you all ready? I'm going to flip this over because, yeah, I cheated and kind of kind of had it somewhat open. So, oh, well, let's see. First off, first off, we have some stamps. Look at these stamps. Hmm. You know, when I create stamps, it's usually from something. Look at these babies. Let me put these right here. Right there where you can see these. But that's just part of it. A form you haven't really seen. And a template. Whoops. I this. That you haven't really seen. I'm going to set this right here is this. Look at this template. Now, let me show you. It, it has, well, it would be like this. It has this shape. Well, this shape. For a Christmas dish or holiday, or gift giving, or whatever. This in itself is amazing. But wait, wait till you see what we're gonna do with this. Okay, first off, some of the things you can do is the little pony roller will roll right across this, and then you've got your edges. You can put designs in your edges. But what it's gonna, first project we're gonna do is what we're calling our tiny timbers. And look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at this design. It comes built in with its very own border. But look at the design. This looks like Montana silver, western floral, belt buckle. And this is what... This template fits this perfectly. And then the form will go on top. <gasps> Are you seeing now what we're gonna do? So hold that thought, let me grab some clay. Okay, so we have cornstarched our gorgeous little tiny timber. Look at that whole design. Um, border and everything with the perfectly matched template and form. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to take, I just cut a slab of clay about the size of my board. So I'm going to, I'm going to lift that up and lay this on top and make sure that it covers and it can be bigger. It doesn't matter. I don't have sharp edges or, or or indented borders to cut this off. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rolling pin and I'm going to roll it down, not super hard, but just one roll so I don't double texture. Just like that. And then I'm going to turn it. And I'm going to lift it and lay that down. And look at this perfect, perfect texture. Look at this. I absolutely love this texture. All right. So I'll put my little tiny timber beauty away. 
I'll just set it right there where I can see it. And then I'm going to take my template that's a perfect match. I'm going to lay that right over the top of that where I can make sure. Let me see that I, I should have put it on my banding wheel so I could have cut it better, but I didn't. So I'm going to do it right here. Just like this. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to go around just like this. Oops. Shoot. I moved it. But that's okay. It fits perfectly. Just set it back up there. There we go. And come around and finish it off. You have a perfect, perfect, perfect dish. And I'm just going to lightly come around this outside edge. Just like that. Now, I'm going to move all this extra clay that I had. Put that right there. Add this like this. So now I'm going to put it just like this. Now, you can do one of two things. You can put this onto foam. You can put this, oh, you know what I did? I cut it the wrong direction. But that's okay because this is going to be perfect anyway. Did I do? I did. Well, that's okay because it'll just be funky and that's okay. You got to pay attention to how you cut it. I did it upside down, but it's just going to wiggle waggle. And I love that too. And I've done some that way. See how that looks? Oh, I love it. All right. Now I'm going to hold it here. See if it looks pretty centered. Just like this. That looks pretty centered to me. I also could put the peg in and put the clay over the top. But I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to flip this over. So it'll slightly fall. And then I'm just going to press this down a little bit. We've been doing a lot of finger clay lately, haven't we? And then take my red rib and come around here and swoop. Don't forget your swoop. Just like this. Swoop it. Swoop it good. I like to put my rib in the water and then just come around this top, just like that. Now I can swoop this. Oh, wait till you see this. Even though I did the form the wrong direction, it's not going to matter. It's going to look gorgeous either way you go. Now. We're going to let this sit, and then we'll be back to flip it. Oh, you know what you could do? You could put a stamp in here to put your name in, but if I do that, it's going to go through. Okay, so we have cornstarch, our gorgeous little tiny timber. Look at that whole design, um, border and everything, with the perfectly matched template.
and form. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna take, I just cut a slab of clay about the size of my board. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna lift that up and lay this on top and make sure that it covers, and it could be bigger, it doesn't matter. I don't have sharp edges or, or, or indented borders to cut this off. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my rolling pin and I'm gonna roll it down, not super hard, but just one roll so I don't double texture. Just like that. And then I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna lift it and lay that down. And look at this perfect, perfect texture. Look at this. I absolutely love this texture. All right, so I'll put my little tiny timber beauty away. I'll just set it right there where I can see it. And then I'm gonna take my template, that's a perfect match. I'm gonna lay that right over the top of that. Where I can make sure, let me see that I, I should have put it on my banding well so I could have cut it better, but I didn't. So I'm gonna do it right here. Just like this. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to go around just like this. Oops, shoot, I moved it, but that's okay. It fits perfectly. Just set it back up there. There we go. And come around and finish it off. You have a perfect, perfect, perfect dish. And I'm just gonna lightly come around this outside edge. Just like that. Now, okay, we have cut it out. I'm gonna just lay this on top of here. Let's put it on this side. I'm gonna lay this on top of here and I'm gonna put my form down just like this. See how that fits perfect, perfect shape. Love it, love it. Is that pretty centered? That's pretty centered. I could do it the other way and put it on my thing and it's not so hard to center that way, but I'm gonna do it. That's about right. Now watch, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna flip it over and set it down. I like to kind of drop it. That loosens the template and gets this going down, which I'm gonna press with my hands. I'm gonna take my sponge and go down this piece of clay on there. Any little marks you can rub right out. Oh, look at this. I can't wait for you guys to see the front side of this. I like to swoop it in like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. It's not really dry, but I'm gonna flip it. Hold on. Hey, so while we're waiting, let me show you. I think we made this dish. Um, this was with the um, chaos squares and stacking them to get the, the curves. And I think we made this in the create group and I double textured. I textured 
both sides and I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna see if you can see how awesome this came out of the kiln um, let me move that can you see the texture that was that leaf leaf texture um, no yes it is peppered plum um, is exactly what that is but look at how that went into those leaves I just love it and then on the front I had the flower that floral pattern and look at that it is I mean the pick getting it on camera doesn't do it justice but you can see all the little dots and all the little flowers and it in person is amazing can you see how clear that texture is in there it is just amazing and then on the leaves in the back is just amazing so i had to show you this this came out um and then that leaf texture that leaf texture um oh whoops hold on that way so that leaf texture also um i used that electric blue velvet underglaze and then i didn't put anything on the back but on the front i used um sky over the top of that electric blue and look what that did i just i love that leaf texture um i fired <coughs> excuse me i fired this um, medium to a cone six with a 10 minute hold and i did an hour preheat because um i glazed and stuck it in the kiln and glazed and stuck it in the kiln so it's still wet so i did an hour preheat preheat but cone six medium and a 10 minute hold and i got i mean it's there you can see this is not pin holding whatsoever you can see that that is the exact design of the little dots and they are all filled in and just show perfectly in fact, I don't see a single pinhole in here whatsoever. And I really only did two, um, two coats, maybe, maybe a little bit of a third around the top and around the top here. But when it came down to the lower sides and the bottom, I really only did two because I didn't want it to puddle and pool. Um, yeah, that's the sky over the electric blue is pretty awesome. This was just a little test piece because I have a big dish over there that I want to do and I wanted to test before I ruined it. And this is exactly how I'm going to do it. Uh, it's gorgeous. I'm going to turn this over. Yes, but we going backwards. No, we, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> for alphabetical order. So I'm gonna put this, take this off. Sorry guys. And let me turn this on. Okay, are you ready to peek in the window of what this is gonna look like? A perfect designer edge. Do you see that edge? <laughs> now, you know, I'll need to, I'll need to um, go around it with my sponge and even it out a little bit or whatever, but that's okay. I'm going to pick, and this is splayed out a little bit, so I can actually re reach in and grab it. Or if I wanted to, if I couldn't get my fingers in it, I could use my plucker doodad. Don't forget your plucker doodads, dudes. <laughs> plucker doodads, dudes. I don't know why I said dudes. Um, so, I will tell you, we have all orders through the 17th of July shipped. That was prior to the promotion of this mystery box. Um, or as I called it, Christmas in July surprise package. Uh, so we are now getting ready to ship the first four or five days of this promotion. 
So it, especially if you just ordered the Christmas box, but if you ordered a bunch of other stuff, um, you know, we're still working on all of that too. But uh, the, if you ordered in the first week, yours will ship this week. I just, I, I hated to, to ruin the surprise, but by the same token, I wanted you to see what was in it and what I had planned for it. So you just didn't open it up and go, okay, now what do I do with this? So I wanted you to see it. So I'm going to take this form out. It just comes right off. And look at this. Oh, that's upside down. Well, there's not really an upside down. But look at that. Is that not gorgeous? And it's a perfect size. Um, I think this is like seven inches by like four something. And I don't remember the template size off the top of my head. But that is your surprise box. And of course, um, those of you that ordered in the first week through the 25th also get the, um, the three snowman stencils. Okay. Um, so this is, this is with it flat kind of, well, the dish isn't flat, but the sides are flat. So now I'm going to, I'm going to do, I'm going to do what? What do you think I'm going to do now, guys? Yep. I'm going to swoop it. So flat, you know, edges. But I like to take my fingers here and just, can you see how beautiful that is when you do the swoop you do? Swoop, swoop. Look at how that just, I don't know. There is something of <laughs> there's something about a good swoop that I just absolutely love. Now, I could swoop these inner outside edges if I wanted. And look at the difference. Look at the difference in the shape now. So, will you swoop or will you stay straight? Both of them are beautiful. <laughs> the queen has swooped. 